Moving to stock, we have a Volkswagen Polo 1.4 match, DSG 5 door. It's a 2011 on a 61 plate. It's automatic. Um, it's done 52,851 miles, two registered owners. The fuel economy, urban 36.7, extra urban is 60.1, and combined is 48.7. North 60 time of 11.9 seconds, top speed of 110 miles per hour, and that's out of an 85 brake horsepower engine. Six months road tax, 77 pounds, 12 months is 140. The car's MOT'd until the 12th of uh, March, 2019. Now, it, it's a really nice car, inside and out. The inside's like brand new. There's no wear on the steering wheel, there's no wear on the pedals. It's, it's obviously been really, really well looked after. It's got full service history, and it's had recent new tires. Color-coded bumpers, color-coded wing mirrors, or door mirrors. Um, seven spoke alloy wheels there and uh, rear privacy glass. Remote unlocking tailgate, back seats fold down, you've got a load cover here, quite a bit of room for. Um, Luggage space there, I've got two camera bags in the back there and my tripod and a few other things. There's still a bit of room left there. You've got a rear wash wipe. Handy thing being a little five door. There's quite a lot of room in the back. I haven't got, in all honesty, I haven't got my seat as far back as I would normally have it, but I do seem a long way back. Uh, that is still a comfortable driving pos position for me, so th there is plenty of room uh, for a passenger. The, the headrests are right in the middle of your back in that position, but as soon as you put them up, you've got, you've got plenty of room. It's, uh, it's a very handy little car. I'll just take you for a ride right now. Now, I could have driven comfortably in this position, but I normally sit further back. That would be to make room for the passenger there in the back. We've got uh, here quite a few invoices, which I can't show you because they've got addresses on. But, uh, and uh, we've got a stamped service book here. I think, uh, was it Starbridge VW at 3,205 miles, 25th of the 1st, 2013. 29th of the 10th, 2014 at 18,083, again Starbridge Volkswagen. And then we go on to a, a non-franchise, um, 32,151, 2nd of the 2nd, 2016 at BTS. the 2nd 2017 42,173 BTS again and then 13th of the 3rd 2018 50,753 miles and that's ATL Autos Limited so only serviced a few months ago and uh, so when were the tyres done I think the tyres were done something like in November and uh, at 49,000. Four new tyres fitted, 3rd of the 11th, 2017, at 49,432. So, uh, 3,200 3, miles ago. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Let's say, little automatic, a five door as well, so it's got everything going for it. Nice and clean inside. We have two remote keys. It has this VW TPK system, which is the VW's Bluetooth hands-free system. Now, it will also stream music. As far as hands-free goes, it's really good. The music side of it, it just streams the music as if it's voice quality coming through from a telephone call. So it's better than nothing, 
but it's not fantastic. Um, just do this again. So we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. You see there, it's um, <laughs> motor traders these days are, are told it's not to say it's a, a lady owner because it shouldn't make any difference. And uh, but it does two things: the steering wheels, all this, the gear stick. They're always nice. They're not worn out with horrible rough hands. The seats are nice. Every the car smells nice. So it's a lady owner. It's that is a great thing. This car is lovely. Inside, it's like brand new. Um, what have we got? Air conditioning. That's working as it should. Nice and icy. It's showing auxiliary here on the radio. It's CD radio. When it's on auxiliary, you can get it to play your tunes from your phone through this system. So it's, it's not fantastic, but it, it, it does the job. Got four electric windows. The back seats fold down. It's a good gearbox. You can also put it into sport or you can use it as a uh, semi-automatic, I suppose, and uh, change gears with a gear stick here. Like so. But why you'd want to do that, I'll never know. It's a grey cloth upholstery. It's a darker grey on the outside. That it's slightly built up, not to the extent of a sports seat, but it just makes it comfortable and it holds you in place. And then you've got these um, kind of ruched, uh, lighter grey cloth in the centre panels. We've got there electric door mirrors. They both work. Pretty sure the windows do. I'll try the ones. A little bit of a kick down there. I'll just try this, try not to take it too far down and crush my camera. Yep, that works as well. Wipers are working fine, not slapping across the screen. So they're good. Got a, got a wheel wobble here, need some, uh, need the wheel balancing doing, I think. Just see if we can drive through it. Car's got alloy wheels. There's seven spoke alloys. Back seats fold down and they split independently. You've got a rear load cover, we've got rear wash wipe, and also a rear privacy glass. It's finished in silver metallic. A um, couple of little marks on the rear bumper where things have been dragged out of the boot. But um, we'll touch those up. Just quickly nip you up the motorway. It's been pointed out that I say nippy quite a lot. However, this is pretty nippy. six I, every time I go there I get caught so I'll carry on up here there we go we 
we're doing 70 miles an hour. Well, we were doing 70 miles an hour. Just squirt some water on that back screen, see if that's... Yeah, the back wipe is alright with the water on. It's alright, 70 miles an hour, 2,500 revs and it's saying D7, so we've got a 7-speed box which is uh, pretty good to be fair the VW stroke Audi DSG gearbox is really good as well nice and quiet the, uh, we've driven through the wheel wobble so uh, must remember to get that done But little five door, there's plenty of room in the back really. I don't think this is the kind of car that you're going to buy to be doing long distances in. But certainly for short distances, it, five people will get in the car. fantastic amount of specification on it it's just a, a pretty simple car but you, you've got the the main things air conditioning electric windows and remote central locking those are the things that make your life easier it's a proper key so uh, a proper key with a, a remote it's not keyless entry or keyless start so you've no need to, to be worrying about where you put your keys at night in case you get the signal snatched from outside show you how to pair your mobile to the system um, playing music through it wouldn't seem to be as simple as it could be you have to action it on this little remote control um, I, I struggle with my hands but uh, tend to push the thing away from me instead of just touching the screen. In the um, in the glove box there you've got um, connections for uh, the old iPhone 4 I would say perhaps even 5 or the old iPod you've got um, a USB input You've got auxiliary in here, and you've also got an auxiliary socket in the glove box too. I'll just uh, while we're going slow, I'll just show you those. So the, there's there's those. I mean, it, it is a bit of a flimsy sort of uh, <laughs> fastening that to the dashboard, but um, so with uh, I find for using your mobile these days, and, and one where there's an instant three months ban coming in, uh, it's worth its weight in gold.
just uh, check the radio. I don't think that's going to be. Uh, put it on an FM. Martin, who was last seen at a petrol station in Bolton. Detective. Is it... Why would you expect anything else but bad news these days? Now that's in sport as well, that's the other thing. If I knock it forward, we're in drive. If you just knock it back, you've got the sport setting. So it holds it in gear uh, as long as possible where drive will change gear as quick as possible, I suppose, uh, giving you a smoother and more economical drive. Turn that up a little bit. It's got a couple of nice little features like this this aluminium uh, trim surrounding the vents uh, matches the door handles and also the um, gear selector surround the same detail on the switches there in the in the dashboard the heater switches Jan's not for waiting for people who've got the right of way there. Too busy chewing. Can't do two things at the same time. Think and chew gum. got time to show you how to delete a mobile hopefully we'll be able to see it from this camera and uh, so here we go there you go see I pushed it away again so like so click the downward arrow into settings into Bluetooth so I've touched the wrong one Bluetooth there that says auto connect so it, if your phone's not connecting for any reason just go into that uh, screen and make sure then you, at the top you've got phone list, Barry's iPhone, click on Barry's iPhone and delete the top one. So delete, yes. So 
So that, that's the phone gone. I'll show you how to pair it again when we get back. Okay, I'll try and show you, uh, if it shows up on here, I'll try and show you how to pair your mobile. Um, first of all, I'll delete it from here. It will show up, TPK Music. Forget this device, forget. Right, so. Make sure Bluetooth is on. We'll see if it picks anything up first. Actually, I'm going to show you over there. We'll see if it picks anything up. There you go, it's brought TPK music up. So touch. Um, the code will be four noughts. So naught, 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 pair. Do I want it to allow my contacts? No, I don't, uh, but you will, so don't allow. And it's showing here connected if you can see that from this camera connected up there and it's connected here now then in order to play music if i go into my itunes here and we go on to there you see at the bottom the red triangle with three red circles if i click on there sorry tpk music now, so we'll just turn that up, go back to that, click play, and there you go. It's playing, but the, the quality, it, it's, it's okay if it's something you want to listen to, but it, it's not the normal audio quality because it's being streamed from your phone through here, through there. Uh, and it's not like a normal audio streaming uh, head unit. Now, if, uh, let me just say, again, see, if I go into more there, and then click downwards, settings, then you've got audio, ringtones, volume, and mobile audio. You have to make sure there's a tick in that mobile audio, otherwise it won't play. It'll show it's selected here, but it won't play. So I'll just, just show you how to switch it on again. So into more, click the downward arrow, into settings, into audio, and then mobile audio, make sure there's a tick in there and there there you go it comes up phone and if I turn that up again it's playing that's it that's how you do it